What's up guys, Manny from Motor Million and the DFL V4 is back. The DFL V4 never left, but it is back into our videos because we were busy with other projects, guys. As you know, this bike is brand new, even though it's 2024 now, it was introduced in 2023. And uh, the industry has been really slow to adopt to getting some parts for these things. I don't know if it's not popular because the previous generation DFLs were super popular, but also they were around for a very long time. So there was a mountain of parts. That being said, parts are slowly coming out and we wanted to achieve what we call phase one with our DFL V4 and that, that was to leave the bike with the paint scheme as it is, so it's red or black if you have a black one, but change all these plastics. There's a lot of plastics and put everything carbon and see how it looks because I think if you've seen our Street Fighter V4, the Motor Million Street Fighter V4, we followed a similar approach with that bike's build where we left the bike's paint untouched, but all the black plastics were changed to carbon. It looked amazing, and I think that's what we're gonna do on this bike. And furthermore, we're gonna change some parts that we had put carbon on, and we're gonna change them with other carbon parts, so stay tuned why we're doing that, because we're taking out carbon to put more carbon. Don't forget, this bike is gonna get a full paint job, and we're gonna further along the build with this thing to let's say make it more custom and uh, that's going to come along soon but i think today once we put all the carbon that we have on this motorcycle we could probably call phase one done and you guys can expect a official walk around of the phase one of this bike but uh, enough talking more working and there we go first part is off and uh, for those people wondering, yes, we did think about removing the covers. You guys know that we remove our plastic covers off our Panigale V4s and Street Fighter V4s. We, we would like to see the beautiful engine. But in the case of the DFL V4, this is what it looks like. You could probably even just cut this part out. But then again, you have a lot of wiring that's tucked behind everything in here. The packaging is totally different from the Panigale V4 and the Street Fighter V4 platform. And uh, that's why we decided to just remove all these plastic covers and put carbon in place. And uh, I can tell you by holding this, it is heavier. Definitely this is heavier than the carbon ones. I'm gonna weigh them. Let's show them to you what the weights are so that we could let you guys know if the carbon is saving weight or not. Again, with a bike like this, does it really matter to save a pound or two? Maybe, we saved a lot of weight with the wheels and it really, really transformed the bike but uh, I think this is gonna be a more of a visual transformation than a transformation of the weight of the bike, but I may be mistaken, but let's carry on. Here's a plastic cover. Let's weigh this. It's 1.28 pounds, 1.26 pounds. We're losing a little bit of gravity again. But uh, right here, this is our full six cover. It is 0 0.48 pounds, so Almost, uh, almost 0.8 pounds, almost a pound, but we'll call it 0.8 pounds. Again, I'm not gonna start adding up all the weights, but I just wanna really show you guys because some of you guys always wonder, does carbon save weight all the time over plastic, especially because some plastic pieces are pretty light? In this case, if you stick to a manufacturer like Full Six, where they make things the proper way, in the way that they're number one rigid and number two, they're lightweight, you do save weight. And look at this thing, this is uh, matte carbon. And for you guys who are wondering, well, it's not matte carbon, it's satin carbon. The finish, this is a Ducati Performance front fender. The finish and the weave exactly matches it so that we're not gonna have mismatched carbon on the bike. But if you guys have stayed tuned, you guys know that most of this carbon, not the side panels, but most of the bike that's gonna be carbon is gonna get painted, including that front fender. But the, most of this engine cover is on. I'm gonna install the sprocket cover. Uh, I'm gonna disclose it to you guys that most of the parts that we're using full, are full six, and we do prefer using full six parts, but again, not everything is available, so we're gonna use what we have at hand. This is ZMM Carbon. Again, the finish is the same, and if you take a look at it, it uh, pretty much matches everything that we're putting on the bike because we wanna make sure, number one, everything is satin, and everything is plain carbon, and everything matches Ducati performance. For us, we could change everything to carbon from the suppliers that we want, but again, 
we do this because most of you guys who have Ducatis usually get some stuff from the dealer or some parts do come with carbon from the factory and we want to make sure that the stuff that we offer for you guys is matching the proper pieces. And again, I want to remind you guys, all the pieces that we use on our videos, all the parts is linked in the description below so you guys have easy access to it. And uh, let's carry on. This thing actually fits like a glove too with everything. So as long as you guys stick to high quality carbon fiber brand names and you can't even tell, the weave is the same, the finish is the same. So even this little piece over here, I didn't measure the sprocket cover. My bad, maybe I'll just pull it off and measure it right now. But even this little piece is 0 0.04 pounds lighter. Every little bit counts. But uh, let's keep on moving and let's put more carbon on this bike. I don't know if you guys saw what I'm doing, but I guess the holes in the rotors do come in handy sometimes that I could stick my uh, Allen wrench through so that I could take one of the bolts out. As you saw with new parts comes with new challenges. I don't know if I want to call it a challenge or not, but this thing is not so straightforward to install. And we did have to cut some of the back piece over here to make it fit better because there's no way you were getting this thing off because, well, you could. You got to get all these bolts off. And also there's another bolt under there and I'm not about to uh, take off about half the engine and swing arm off just to fit this. So I think this helped because this goes in here. And this has no glue or nothing to, to be added and just that made a difference. There we go. Now it still fits like a glove. We got to get our chain guard in place. We got to take our tape off and uh, time to move on. Continue on. Here's our plastic rear hugger and chain guard. Well, the rear chain guard at least. 0.82 pounds. This one is, okay, 0.48 pounds. I really thought this might be heavier for whatever reason and take a look at this. No more of this. Well, remember I said we we're gonna change a carbon piece for a carbon piece. It's our air intakes, guys. And uh, I'm going to be very open and honest, as we always are over here. This didn't have the best fitment, so we actually had to dremel some stuff and open holes bigger. And it always bugged me on how it fit, and you could probably take a look at it. This is not even. And this piece over here, which we have, will get rid of this aluminum piece that's in the front. I think that's what the problem was. It's really, really hard to make carbon that fits these two pieces. Well, it's not hard, but it's probably very expensive to get it to the point it's gonna fit right on. And uh, I was never too happy about this, so we decided to change it. And we're being open and honest that we actually are removing this because of the fitment and also the way that this was cut around the edges wasn't really pleasing us. We have this piece, it has a mesh too for some people. It really doesn't matter, this doesn't feed your engine. It actually gives more air to your legs and feet so that you are cooler on a Ducati. But let's see the weight, because this aluminum piece is on, this actually weighs quite a bit. So this is 0 0.84 pounds. And uh, our new carbon piece is 0 0.64 pounds. So even more weight savings. And if you guys saw the video when we originally installed these parts on our DFL V4, we saved, I think it was a pound or two or something, it was pretty crazy how much weight we saved compared to the aluminum pieces that we had. But yes, so this is the piece that was carbon that's being replaced with carbon. Also, other than fitment, it wasn't really satin and it didn't really, really match this piece too well. I mean, it's not too off and you could probably wax this with just some automotive wax and it'll just be shiny like that. Well, it'll be satin shiny. It has a slight sheen to it. But that's another reason, but let's put that on and then a couple more pieces and at least one side will be done. Weigh carbon versus plastic. 
Plastic tan side panels are 0.46 pounds. Let's grab our carbon ones. The carbon ones are 0.28. It's not exactly half the weight, but it's almost as half the weight. But let's uh, not wait any longer and put this stuff on the bike. Well, at least one side is done now. I just want to show you guys the bike, but we have a very cool piece on the other side that doesn't exist on this side that I'm gonna show you in a second. At a first glance, it looks cool. There's a couple of things that are bugging me. I'm gonna not say it right now. I'm gonna finish the whole bike and I'm gonna take a look around the bike because there might be other touches that we wanna do, but uh, obviously carbon is better than plastic. It looks so much better, especially changing this piece over here to the correct finisher carbon and a good fitment of carbon. It's, uh, it's making me smile, but let's jump on the other side. Let's continue on and let me show you that piece that doesn't exist on this side, but that's on the other side. Well, remember I said there's a piece that doesn't exist on the left side of the bike. It's this thing, this exhaust heat shield. Not gonna lie, I've lost countless nights of sleep over this piece because when we installed our Termignoni exhaust and when you install any exhaust, this thing sticks out like a sore thumb. I think it's probably the poorest design on this bike because next time you see a DFL V4 or go take a look at a picture of it, this thing really doesn't match the bike at all. So I was always thinking that if there's no carbon ones, I would actually like to get this powder coated black or something to make it less visible. Luckily we got the carbon ones now. Let's weigh the difference. The metal one weighs in at, you gotta put it on, 0 0.09 pounds. Well, 0 0.9 pounds. And the carbon one weighs at 0.4 pounds. So less than half the weight again. Let's get this thing back on the bike. We're still not done. There's a couple more pieces that we're gonna put carbon. Stay tuned because I really wanna get this bike down and take a look at it. Well, the right side is done. And before I get onto the top, I know I'm gonna pull the bike out because this does no justice for me to take a look at it just from this short distance, especially this piece right here, but just even not being able to look at the bike fully, it just uh, it looks so much better. I don't know what to say, you know, it's uh, one of those things that I, I don't even have to say it looks better on in person than camera because it just looks better 100%. These parts, we're gonna talk about them guys because I have some thoughts, you guys may have some thoughts, but before we uh, start giving opinions, let's finish this top piece over here. Let's take a look at the weights. This is the ignition surround, the ignition cover. It's in kilograms for whatever reason. I know some of you guys asked for kilograms. We're gonna do it in pounds. We're in the United States. So 0 0.16 for this, 0 0.16 for, one, for this. Well, there's no weight savings in this, but let's take a look. Let's weigh this one. This is your top tank cover. 0.30 and this is 0.18 so we're saving weight with this this piece is going to get painted guys i'm just still putting it on because i think it looks cool and if you guys took a look you have a satin piece and we have a gloss piece we like to mix things up Well, on this episode of While We're Here, we're gonna change our reservoir covers. We're doing carbon. These Duca bike pieces have a little bit of carbon on it. I think it's a nice touch that we're gonna to add to these pieces. And I promise then we'll wheel this thing out and admire its beauty. And uh, I'm waiting for your opinions. So 
here it is. I think it looks good. So I'm gonna be honest. Inside, my opinion was something didn't look right. But uh, when I was looking at the bike, we didn't have this red piece over here. So it looked like there was too much going on in terms of uh, too much carbon. But uh, looking outside, let me take a step back because I have to. And uh, have I mentioned how cool this looks? That looks amazing. But yeah, so I thought that there was too much carbon going on in the absence of the color over here, the silver. I wasn't too sure. Now I'm certain that it actually looks really good. I would still like to wrap this in red. Don't forget, this bike's gonna get painted. It's not gonna stay red. So we're just gonna wrap it in red just to see what it looks like. And then if you actually like it, when we paint the bike to a color other than red or colors, may I say, I'm not gonna say what it is, but we may paint some of these pieces different colors. But as it is, I kind of like this piece that we haven't touched just yet because also I think if we actually change this, it would have been too much carbon at that point. So even if you make this piece carbon, we definitely have to put some sort of a paint on there. But if you take a look, there's silver accent pieces here, here, obviously here, top of your forks, and around your headlights around when the DRL is not running, the daytime running lights, it actually looks silver. So I think it looks beautiful. And look, the Miami sun came out. So I don't know. I think it's, uh, well, I know, it looks amazing. And also, when I was looking at the bike, we haven't done the top tank cover yet. Everything is tying in beautifully. These uh, little Duca bike pieces here really, really made the change for me too, because it gets rid of those uh, pieces that says Ducati everywhere. I mean, we understand it's a Ducati. It's a brand name that I like, but once you see Ducati here, Ducati here, Ducati here, it's a little too much, it cleaned it up. But also these pieces now tie in with the gloss carbon that we put on the ignition surround. I don't know, I think this is it for this episode, guys. We're gonna do a few little tweaks and touches. Uh, maybe put the color on here and a couple of the things that I wanna do before I call this done for phase one. But next time you guys see this DFL V4, we're gonna do our official walk around. Until then, enjoy this beauty. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, guys, have a good one.